This is Lara Love and Good News Ministry. The Bible verse on my heart right now is in the book of Revelation. And Jesus says to believers in himself, believers, not unbelievers, but believers, he says, you have left your first love. And then he goes on to say, repent, and he gives a very, very strong warning against those, not just back then, but even now, who have left their first love. In other words, the Lord Jesus Christ is no longer their first love. I want to tell you that the um, title of this message is First Love, and I was just walking down the streets of New York City on a beautiful, sunshiny day. After lots of cold weather and lots of rain, what a blessing. Everybody's outside, and it's just filled with, New York City's always filled with lots of life, lots going on. Anyway, it's just, a, it's a, for me, it's an extra joyful day. I always, I just love being on the streets of New York City and doing ministry work here. And all of a sudden, I just found myself out loud, and you can get away with anything in New York City, talking out loud, singing out loud, whatever. I was talking to the Lord, and essentially, and I don't remember word for word, but essentially, I said, Lord, I will take you over anything and anyone and everything and everyone. And this city holds a lot of history for me. Many, many years ago, I lived in this city, and I was a alcoholic involved with someone I should not have been involved with, doing things I should not have been doing. I was so drenched in sin. I did not know about the Lord Jesus Christ. I was clueless. I was lost. I was broken. And ultimately, I would undergo years and years and years of just brokenness beyond human hope. And back then, I had a lot of dreams and a lot of desires, and a lot of that did not line up with the Lord. And I ended up not getting a lot of what I wanted in this life and losing a lot of what I did want, um, especially when it comes to people. And I, I just love people. And back then it was men and it's, you know, just it, whoever, whatever it's been in my life. I'm a very passionate, emotional person. And when I love and when I want, it is strong. And here I am now, years later, on the streets of New York City, telling God that I will take him over anything and anyone, everything and everyone. If he said to me, Lara, you can have this person and this relationship and this marriage and this dream that you wanted and you can have everything you want the way you always wanted it, or you can have me, a forever relationship with myself, I would take a forever relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ in a single heart beat. Does that mean it's always easy to forsake, to let go, to turn away from, to say goodbye to that and whom we really, really want and desire and are passionate for and love? No, it can be extraordinarily hard. But I can tell you that when we truly make Jesus Christ number one, when he is truly, truly, our first love, and we have a deeply passionate, intimate relationship with him as I do today, I'm telling you, nothing and nobody on this earth can possibly compare. And the loss that we have to undergo, that the letting go stuff, it really hurts the flesh. It pales in comparison to the joy that we find and the love and peace and hope and fellowship and lordship and wisdom and grace and truth and wonderfulness and splendor and, and glory that we find in Jesus Christ and an eternal relationship with him. My friend, make Jesus Christ your number one, your first love. Number one, be totally devoted to him. If you need help starting a relationship with the Lord or continuing on in one or would like to sign up for my free Good News Daily Devotional, please do so at goodnews.love. This is Lara Love and Good News Ministry reporting to you once again from the streets of New York City. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.